We're here in the Arboretum, which is honestly, I think, so far, my favorite part of the space station, of Talos 1. It's pretty here. I Listen, I like trees. I like the outdoors. I don't get to do it as much as I used to, but man, these trees are something else. They remind me of those uh, Bao Bao trees from Madagascar. Pretty sure that's what they're called. The ones are huge chunks. Anyway, when we last left off, we had just found our way into here, and there was some huge fucking mimic monster. What's with the music, guys? What's with that shit? Galagos Habitation Pod. Hold on, there seems to be something wrong with my, uh... My chat pop out here. Couldn't read what was being said. Alright, now it's all fixed. Let's continue. This is just a regular turret. This is a box full of. Oh, cool! Disruptor batteries! I haven't used a disruptor in a while. I am worried. What am I gonna find in here? That's Earth down there. I kinda like. I feel like I've been rushing through this game. There's a phantom. You can already hear him. I feel like I've been rushing through this game a little bit. I'm, I feel pretty lost as hey, to what. Hey, hey, over here! Open this door! Please! Uh. I don't. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh. Right. That went poorly. Um, what I was saying was, I feel like I'm rushing through this game a little bit, not taking the time I'd normally take, so I'm going to try and slow down the pace just a bit. I really want to explore everything this game has to offer, because I'm really digging it. I'm really enjoying it so far. can't open this door either. Oh, your voice is so Who are you? I don't know, Mickey. I think my name is Morgan. I might have been lied to about that, though. Who knows? Maybe I'm Alex. I don't think I'm Alex. Hey, buddy. Man, these plants look weird. Maybe it's because they're growing in space. Can I open this door? No, I cannot. Damn. The... What is that noise? What's up with that? Oh, God. What's wrong with me? I don't know, Mickey. Oh, is it because I'm getting close like this geodesic dome? So that's Earth. Oh shit, I'm actually looking at like Florida. That's Florida right there. And that must be Texas, right? The crosser is, or close enough. That's North South America. Oh, that's cool. So I don't know how to get in there. It looks like I'll need to find a password before I can do that. And there's some kind of new. Typhon variant that I have not met before. Just chilling in there, mind controlling people. The last time. The hell? Fell into a bunch of shrubbery. Sorry. Come on, get up there. What are you doing? Last time, I, uh. I tried to. Like. Knock someone out when they were mind controlled. Their head exploded! I don't want to kill people who are actually doing things against their will. Because that feels bad, you know? It ain't, it ain't their fault. They literally have no control over their actions. Hey, Deadman. Aw, oh, hell. It's dead. Why didn't you die? Did the turrets shoot you? Why'd you die? What's this? Fitzgerald Fur. Abius Americanus. What? 
this or this? Yeah, it's the big one. It's like a giant bonsai tree. Oh, I love it. I want one of those. I plant one of those in my yard. Psychotronics Morgue. Galagos' Habitation Pod. The main lift. Alright. Never did figure out how to open up the door in the morgue. I should go back there and do that. Because I have this map. I realized when I was taking a little break from this game that I wasn't using my map to its fullest potential. I wasn't like looking at the map and exploring every nook and cranny and stuff like that. And I should be doing that. I really should. Because this is one of those games where I've, like, I've been finding all kinds of crazy stuff. Disgruntled employee. It's fired and scheduled to leave the station. Last shuttle back to Earth. But he skipped getting on the shuttle. HR made the situation worse by deactivating his tracking bracelet before he was originally off the station. I can get to deep storage and reactivate his tracking bracelet. I can find out what happened to him. Alright. Also search Alex's office safe in the Arboretum, which is where I am, because this is like his, this is where his uh, main office is. Black Box project. I have to find Josh, and I have to investigate the lift. So, the lift. Cause it would be easier to use, the, there it is. It's that way. But I do want to kind of poke around this area. Alex, use office this way. Alright, cool. That is also one of my side quests. Yeah, I see a big guy. Why are you moving away from me? It didn't go as well as I hoped. There's more than one phantom here. Good afternoon, Talos. Safety aboard Talos 1 is everyone's responsibility. Send all help requests oh, or concerns to security at transstar.talos. Oh, shit. Can I hack you? Do not have hacking two. Do I have any neural mods right now? I have three. Can I afford hacking two? I do not need four neural mods. There are a bunch of those little bastards in there. And possibly a whole bunch of ammo and whatnot. Open that door and use like EMP grenade. I should be able to get in there. Hey, cool. Should be able to get in there, no problem. Take him out the MP, shoot him all to death. Easy, breezy, cover girl. Yeah, that's how that goes. This would be the way down. No, 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 no. This is the way to the lift. All right. So we'll ignore that room for now, because I don't have a way to get into there. Deep storage is that way. Main lift is over here. Let's see if I can repair that. There seems to be a big old, a whole bunch of turrets in front of it, which is good. I am not, I have not injected myself with anything Typhon related, so that means... Did I really say the cover girl thing twice? Did I? That's weird. Got makeup on the brain or some shit. Uh, hold on. There seems to be a maintenance hat. Obstruction detected. Please clear aperture of the breach. Oh, no, you're, oh, so if I hold something in front of it, it freaks out? Oh, that's cool. Detected. That's actually really cool. I'll use you. I'll move you over to here. Because there's nothing over here. This trash can that has nothing in it. Cool. Oh, medkit. Almost missed that. Alright, now we've got another way to go around. I guess this was like I guess this might have been a way to get closer to these turrets. Alright. I do not want to travel. Wait, will this fix the lift? Right? I mean lift, yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and talk about this. It's weird that I'm saying the cover girl thing. 
Cause I don't, I don't like, I don't watch TV anymore, so I'm not seeing any of the commercials. Maybe I saw it in a movie or something. I don't know. If I want to wear makeup, you'll still be my friend. <laughs> nice. Actually, funny story. I don't, I've only worn makeup once in my life. That was when I let uh, my friend in high school put eyeliner on me. She almost took out my goddamn eye too. <laughs> Shit stings, man. Like I, I do not envy any girl who wears makeup. Like that's that can't be a fun process. Putting all that stuff on every day. Most people I hang out with don't wear makeup, though. Hmm. You've never worn makeup. That doesn't honestly. That doesn't really surprise me. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't think my experience with eyeliner was like that normal of a thing I could be wrong though who knows really operators can be summoned from the operator dispensers distributed around Telus one cool 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 there we go Typhon is an unknown type. From what I can tell, it's the source of the problem with the lift. The Phantom has similar disruptive abilities, only this one seems more powerful. Scanning it would tell you more. Alright, it's a Technopath. I think we saw one of those before. Uh, weakness. Electric, Explosive, Psychic, EMP. Oh. I'm just getting two more to learn more about. Oh, engineering operator. We'll read about that later. Right now. Oh, hell. Oh, hell. Okay. EMP, EMP, EMP. Type of noise. I didn't mean to do that. You're really strong, aren't you? Oh, hell. Oh, you're making little explosions. Final sounds Ah, shit. Deadly Cosmo combos. Most enemies board Talos are stronger than you, at least initially. Before attacking head on, try gaining an advantage by disabling them first. Freeze your enemies in place with glue or the disruptor stun gun. Oh, maybe the disruptor would work better on it. It's electricity on EMP charges. Hmm. Hmm. How do I take this thing down? Morning. That Typhon is an unknown type. From what I can tell, it's the source of the problem with the lift. Uh huh. The Phantom you unleashed in Psychotronics had similar disruptive abilities, only this one seems more powerful. Scanning it would tell you more. Okay. Oh, it is weak to EMP. I just didn't hit it with it. Explosive, electric, alright. New alien research. It also is weak to Psychic. Blast, eh, that might that might help. But if I use those, I won't be able to use my turrets ever again. I think they have a medical operator who is bad. Yep, that's a corrupted medical operator. Under. More specimens required. Pressure, it's getting closer. I feel like. Uh. Charge, recycler charge, that might help. Q, Q beam might help. Hmm. We'll give this one a shot. Oh shit. Should we wait till it's closer to the ground? Just use the MP. Why aren't 
you weaken. All being clear to shot by that. Oh fuck. How am I supposed to kill this thing? Not sure, but you think there's like a dozen different types of typhon. Man, I've barely scratched the surface then. This is like, what, the third, fourth kind I've found? Mimic, Phantom, Cystoid, Weaver, fifth. Yeah, this is a fifth one. Okay. Alright. Oh. How are you able to see me? Where's your eye? Don't know. What's this one? Psy nullifying, psycholuminescent. Right, we'll try this again. Something's broken. Yep, they found me. You hurt or not? Ow, who the fuck? What hit me? Alright, I took out one problem. I didn't mean to do that. You don't get hurt by the EMP. Ah. Oh, I suck at this, holy shit. Here, come get that. Let's try the Q-beam. Oh, I'm gonna have to try this thing. Damn. Uh. Now it's just you and me, bud. Okay. Uh. Uh. I don't know. <laughs> you can try this. Oh, you do not like that. Oh, it actually hurt it a lot. Okay, so Q beam. That was cool. Nice work. The lift is responding again. I learned something that through that. Hijack the hardware, even the software running the system all the way down to the machine code, reprogramming it on the fly. Fascinating and alarming. Yeah. I can patch up the code. You should be fine. Take the lift if you need to move quickly between the three main decks on Talos One. It has a stop in the lobby and down in life support. Okay, so I learned something really important from that. Also got DeVry's office key card, which I needed, so we can go back to that uh the medical area and go explore that. So, Q beam. Um I don't know if you guys noticed, but when I got there uh when I got uh when I shot with Q beam, its health bar started becoming green. Like if it all becomes green, then they explode, right? But apparently what I just learned is that if if I shoot it with the Q beam and then run out of ammo with the Q beam, or I get to like a certain percentage of its health with the beam, um, 
and I lower their health to that point, they just explode anyway. That's great. That's actually really good. That's that's pretty rad. I like that. Um, open that up. I, I was on tracks when I went through that door. That was weird. Uh, let's go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Da, 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 da. There we are. Oh hell, is there a weaver in here? Okay. I can't get out. There's a goddamn weaver in here. And a bunch of sisterhood nests now. I just, want, I just want the lobby to be safe, and they broke my turret. Yeah, my turret must be broken. I put it in front of the fucking uh, elevator. Damn it. I like that turret. Wish I had some kind of sniper rifle. Be really handy. Something with a goddamn scope. Anything to pick over there? No. Okay. I was gonna go into the trauma center. Oh, you're still dead. Is everyone's still dead in the trauma center? Boy, I sure hope so. Looks like it. Quick scan, see if there's any mimics in here. Doesn't look like it. We got a bunch of cookies. Banana. A bunch of stuff. Cool. Alright, Rise. What were you hiding in here, friend? Cellular society. If the effects of medical technology on society's norms can be more pronounced, to call a to, co to cite a recent example, only one us to recall cigarette use was often frowned upon as a habit until advances in the food industry that allowed for consumable microspheres that captured and expelled cancer cells from the body. Simultaneously, both the fear of cancer and the stigma attached to smoking vanished within a generation. Now smoking is perceived as no more harmful than drinking a soda. Huh. That's... Actually really neat. You cured cancer. Or, like, certain types of cancer? With that. Interesting. That's really interesting. Alright, can I hack you? You're... Two. Damn, I still need one more Neuromod for that. Let's check you out. Email Morgan Psyche Valves. Hendrick, I need you to remove all sensitive material regarding the Psyche Valves immediately. Of uh, special importance are Morgan's log sessions. I need those materials in my office. From this point forward, only speak through an, entran an encrypted transcribe. Uh, I've sent you the description key. You should be able to download it from your workstation. Alex, you cool. Subject of quarantine. Hendrick. Hmm? Join us in congratulating Dr. Lorenzo Calvino, winner of the Employee Innovation Award this quarter. Hmm. Okay. Hendrick, Trevor Young is one of our scientists. He was exposed to our inner containment area without proper protection. He's gone through observation in psychotronics and had his most recent neuromods removed as a precaution, but we'd like to keep him under more standard quarantine until we can be certain there are no lingering psychological effects. Work with Dr. Cole on this. Thanks, Alex. Okay. Uh. Right. Files. Description key. Yeah, I'm gonna need that. Good thing I came back here before I went to Alex's office. Wasted a whole bunch of ammo and stuff when I did, but still. I wish I knew. I only need... I can actually... I can probably go make a girl mod right now. Yeah, I can do that right now. I didn't know it was you before. Cool. What was that? Oh, no smoking. 
of, oh yeah, smoking's super safe, just don't do it in medical areas, which I mean makes sense, you don't want ash getting into a wound, but ash is sterile, I think most of the time it is anyway. Bench, what is that, bandage? Yeah, it looks like an old ace bandage. Staff lounge is all borked up. There are a bunch of mimics in there. I should go check that out. After I make an Oromon, and I get hacking. and I, There's so much stuff to do in this game. It's really open-ended. I really enjoy it so far. What's that noise? Did I step on something? Hmm, guess not. And that's like protected glass. You can break some glass, but not all. Some glasses are blown more evil than others or whatever. Hi, January. Are you lying to Every me? Every neuromod takes a snapshot of your brain and models what it would look like if you learned something new. Uh huh. Then it makes those changes. Billions of connections remapped in a matter of minutes. All made possible by our friends from outer space. Hmm. Okay. Interesting enough, I suppose. And shotgun, blue cannon. Here. That should be good. God, I love that. <laughs> love that a lot. It's really satisfying. All right. I need to make. Where are, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? One neural mod, please. Thank you. And then we'll make oh, we can make one of these. How much ammo do I have for this? God. One. So we got like about four. 16 rounds. Let's go for that. Make another shotgun shell. Oh god, 32. Okay, that makes 12. A crazy amount of shells. Um, is there anything new on here? No. Alright, cool. I'll get that. Is there anything else I hadn't explored thoroughly yet? Oh, here, let's check them out. Let's do that. Um, I need to go down one and check out the staff lounge and maybe IT security while I'm down there. Damn right there ain't. Let's try this out. Nice. Works pretty well. Your January puttering around up there can't get into IT security just yet, right? Or can I? Oh, I can hack my way in there. I almost forgot to use my fucking Neuromod that I just made, though. <laughs> and I'm just on top of it, guys. I really should get that eventually. I, I don't make as many Neuromods as I probably should. There we go. Now I can... Okay, hold on. Before we forget, because I'm so scatterbrained when I play this game, there's just so much to do. I'm, I get really overwhelmed by it, and I love it. Go in here. Over here. Oh, where are we going? Where are we going? Get him through there. Through there. Down in here. Bounce around so much. What button? Circle? Oh shit! Hey, that was close. Wow, that's a lot tougher than I thought it would be. Oh! Oh damn, there's a bunch of good shit in here. Holy hell. Alright, cool. That works. I should use a sci- uh... Sci... Hypo, I think is what it's called. And I should eat something. Now I'm well fed. Now it'll generate by itself for a little while. Take some of these. Alright, is the, and so this is a security monitor. Let's look at the crew. And okay, whoops, whoops. Is there- can I look in the trauma bay? No. Psychotronics. Anyone alive in psychotronics? Oh no, these these are just people who are. Okay, it's trauma center. Location, location, location. Is there 
anybody alive in the trauma center. I've already checked it out. I don't think there is anyone alive in the trauma center. I mean, there's a one guy who was alive. I should also find the crew quarters. There are a bunch of people in there. Yeah, a whole bunch of people alive in the crew quarters. And a bunch in the operatum as well. At least four, including my brother. Mm -hmm. Another guy in the crew quarters. Cargo bay. That's where, is that where the deep cargo is, you think? Bridge. One guy alive on the bridge. Butler. No one in here. So I gotta figure out how to get into that bit in the morgue. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, everything's in its place. Good. I really get a kick out of keeping all of this nice and organized for some reason. Don't know what it is. My room certainly ain't that clean. Sailor Society. Oh, hold on. There was more research to read. Computed, corrupted operator. Computed. Uh, instant summary. I was called to the scene by Carlos Papinga, who requested assistance with another haywire operator near the operatum lift. Papinga explained he had been sent to fix the main lift, which had been malfunctioning. He claims his engineering operator appeared to malfunction upon approaching the lift and became hostile when Pinga attempted to deactivate it. I used an EMP charge to neutralize the operator. Pinga was sent to trauma with severe burns. Damn, that sucks. Uh, they do spit out fire, though. The engineers down in hardware labs have already checked out the operator. They tell me it's been physically rewired and completely reprogrammed. Just like the last four cases, looks like sabotage to me. Okay. What's new about cystoid? Oh, hey, technopath. I don't, Morgan doesn't have any notes about them, how to take them down. God damn it. Okay. A quick save. I'm gonna be trying to quick save a lot because I've, I've dealt with a couple. All right, before we open that up. Mimic. Mimic. love that I can do that now. Oh, it tags him outside of that, too. I need a test tube sample. Any more? Just that one? Cool. Ah! There were a bunch in here when I first started to run in here to hide. Uh, I think there'd be more room in these cabinets. There's just plenty of food. All right, so now we've seen. If you look at my health now, when I when I ate that one thing that I ate earlier, I was at around 60 health, and I ate it, and I waited a couple minutes, and now I'm back at full health. I forgot to grab a transcribe on a body up at the lift. Okay, I want to go back up there. Are you on your way? On Hi, my Octavia. way where? Octavia, didn't you see the alert? We're supposed to muster. Listen, it's really sweet that you're worried about me, but we've had alerts before, and I've got three more of these glorified vacuum cleaners to fix before my shift is over. Oh, make that four. Someone dropped off another. God, these things are junk. I don't think this is a drill, Octavia. I'm sending you the code. Please, come to the escape pods right now. Hmm. Oops. Moon shade lemon. I'm going to thrive in conditions of board to house one. Cool. Tequila. There's something back in there that 
need to read. What's this? Oh, this is what I was going to read. International Art Talos Edition. The Trans Star Corporation commissioned several high profile artists to create works exclusively for Talos One, the orbital research and development facility that has brought us the Neuromod and many other technological wonders. Renowned Belgian sculptor Frederick Smart sculpted the work Smoke Signals, which formed the centerpiece of the employee dining hall. The installation art is simply known as Jesse constructed the chain of marble glass panels which soar gracefully overhead in the Talos One lobby, and former street artist Patrick O designed a series of exclusive posters for Transtar featuring impressions of orbit, eclipse, and other celestial themes in his signature geometric style. He, he also... Uh, just there. Yeah, sorry. He also developed the Neuromod promotional image featuring the likeness of actor Daisy Prince. Transstar President Alex Yu commented, Art inspires. Fires our creativity, makes us look beyond our present circumstances to what might be possible. Well, where's the art that he made? It ain't it ain't that, that's uh that's for billiards. That being said, it's a really nice pool table, I really dig it. What's the centerpiece he was talking about? Because I thought it was in here. Huh. Spiral light cookies. Oh, like spiral galaxies. That's actually really cool. Captain Spree fish sticks. Trans star kitchens. Hmm. Fish sounds pretty decent right now, honestly. Alright. I searched all of you for your bits, pieces, right? Yeah, I did. All right, let's go over to the IT security. Check out what that's all about. Oh. Ah, fuck. Damn it. Got it. <laughs> that's kind of tough. I hear a phantom. You phantom. All right, getting better at fighting the phantoms at least. That's good. Uh, authorized personnel only, huh? I do supply closet. Oh, well, I want to get in there, obviously. Hello, security office. Key card. That might be handy. Yeah, spare parts. Anything else in here? Oh, cool, neuromod. Now I have four neuromods. I'll create something else. Nice. What next? I do want to get this necropsy one. What's this one down here? Dismantle. Break down equipment in your inventory, including into spare parts and recover spare parts. Okay. Leverage two might be handy. Lab tech one might be handy. High calibration, firearms, damage to security weapons to 120 and chance to, ooh. You know what? I'm doing okay for now. Let's go ahead and go, go with necropsy. That way I can actually break down all these mimic corpses, typhoon corpses, I mean. Okay. Now I can get that other weird typhoon organ out. Unlock you. Cool. Oh, hey. Cool. Uh, what else is in here? I'm in X, so I guess that's good. Alright, can I open you now? I cannot. Huh. Oh, I have new suit. I have new chipsets. F slide reduces damage sustained while sliding. 
I don't really slide that much, so that's not really all that useful to me. Research. Mimic. Uh. Get to high ground and mobilize the glue cannon. Hmm. Checks. Take a trip from morgue. Now, where was security? IT security. Transstar security's first floor. Down over here. Cool, I can get in here now. Security, there's bound to be good weapons in here. Also, probably some kind of enemy that's gonna kick my ass. So I just quick saved. No mimic. No mimic. Huh. Got a shotgun though. The Orit. Highlighted excerpt from the Song of Deborah and the sacred text of Beta Israel. Judges 526. Her hand she put to the tent peg, and her right hand to the workman's hammer, and with the hammer she smote Sisera. Sisera? She smote through his head, yea, she pierced and struck through his temples. Okay. Where are you? Three? Damn. So I was counting the eva- oh, hey, cool, another evacuation day. So last time, like, some jets flew overhead, and there was some kind of gas attack, we think. Right? That's what it was. Um... Day two, I woke up, still in the street. An M35 truck was stopped near me, and the driver was yelling at me to get in. There were several people in the back already, four or five soldiers and about a dozen civilians, including children. I got in the truck, and someone gave me a bottle of water. I asked what was happening, and a soldier... That's spelled... A soldier... That's spelled wrong. Just shrugged. I told him I had given, uh, driven the M35 during my service. People in the truck were crying, and I looked back. The pink smoke was now mixed with gray and swirled high into the sky. There was so much of it, and it seemed to cover the entire city. We kept picking up people until the truck was full. Before we got to the highway, we heard shooting. The soldiers climbed down and readied their weapons. The commander told me to drive the truck as far as possible to the west, then they ran toward the shooting. What the fuck was the evacuation? I want to know, man. I'm really interested in it. All right. Need security escort. I know you probably have your hands full right now, but we need you to send a security deal to detain Dimitri Bowser. He witnessed the incident and he's pretty shaken. We're just not sure how stable he is at the moment. Make an assessment and hold him indefinitely if necessary. Use discretion. Something on the station. Ma'am, you know I went to the doctor about sleep and all that. I got pills, but still been seeing things. After game night, I was cleaning up and a chair moved by itself. I'm not crazy, like you know who. I'm sending this cause just after the alert, I heard something in the vent over security. I thought I saw something black up there. We need to check this out cause I'm starting to think there's something on the station that we don't know about. Security officer Elias Black. Wasn't he the guy who's blackmailing somebody? Illusion. Please add Michaela Illusion to the watch list. While she's currently performing her duties, her condition makes her a potential security risk and we may need leverage. Her access should be restricted to work and crew facilities. Please don't let her anywhere near the labs. Also, flag any communication between her and Dr. Galagos out of psychotronics. Medical is beginning to suspect she has white noise, so the fact she falsified her records may be enough. Normally, I'd advocate neuromod removal, but her condition prevents this. Keep me apprised. What condition? Missing key card. Sarah, I need your help tracking down a missing key card. This one should be your, should be one of your highest priorities. It's labeled EP101. Let me know as soon as you find anything. Escape pod 101, maybe? Is that what EP101 stands for? I think it is. You're not very hard to hack. Same as the other one upstairs. The down a little bit better. Almost had five whole seconds left over. Why are you dead? Gotcha. It's Bowser. Nope. Miss Elazar, 
I don't know what I saw, but I was just trying to do my job. Not where I might not have a chance to talk to you, so I'm writing this. I don't recall the last time I was scared, but what happened in Sim, I can't get it out of my head. Whatever is happening, I want to help, not to sit here in this room. I'm starting to feel like people on the station haven't been shooting straight. Like, what do they actually do in Psychotronics? No one I talk to goes in there, and Yuri Kimura has unnumbered neural mods in her office that I thought you should know about. <laughs> Mama said I could become anything I wanted when I grew up, so I became a mimic, then I became a chair. I just want people to sit on me. That came out weird. What's that noise? Okay, no, seriously, what's that noise? Attack, over it. Attention, station leadership has issued an alert. Oh, character sheet! Oh, man, look at this! I can't zoom in on stuff. Fatal Fortress. That's what they call- Hey, isn't that- That font looks like the modified font of the Oblivion script from Elder Scrolls, which surprised me since this is all. Oh, Captain Stabfellow. <laughs> nice. Alright, he is. He got pretty high strength, decent uh, constitution. It's like a strength dex build for what looks like a warrior? Interesting. I like it. I like it a lot. Whoa. Talos lobby, Talos lobby, Talos lobby, quarters, off station. Huh, lucky her. Cargo bay. Talos one lobby. You're alive? You're in the lobby somewhere? How do I find you? again. Is there anybody else inside the lobby somewhere? I'm not alive, I mean. Cargo bay. Steve Folson, lobby IT tech. Look, Maxine Ford's in the lobby too. They're all in there. They're all in that room. Okay. Damn it. Oh, cool. Where do I find that key? Morgan Yu. Oh, that's me. Also up in there. Steve Folson. Also up in there. Uh, life support. Let's check Hardwood Labs. Is anyone alive in Hardwood Labs? We've been in there. No, this isn't where they. It's not where they are. It's just where they work. Damn it. Crew quarters. How do we get to the crew quarters? Deep storage. Is anyone alive in deep storage? You are. No, you work in these storage and crew quarters. Where are the crew quarters? All right, we'll find that after I read these. Help, 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 help. Now, Elias, anyone, please. Help, Nils again. This is not a hoax, life or death. Help us now, please. Help, this is Nils. We are trapped here in Shuttle Bay. Please answer urgent help. Morgan, use office keypad. Set up a reoccurring task for setting Morgan's keypad. We're getting code change requests every month. It's the same pattern. Morgan asks us what the current code is, asks if, if 
it was requested or if we chose it then ask for a new one it's unusual last time he asked i was right there so i told him the code and he gave me a blank look of code we set less than a week ago maybe he's testing our response time nah someone's wiping his memory because alex is a jerk all right that and then crew quarters. Crew quarters. I haven't explored the restrooms. Yeah, I haven't explored that. take care of that weaver sooner rather than later, honestly. Cystoid nest especially, alright. A lot of dead people here, what's this? Employee orientation. Oh yeah. Oh, come on! Really? Damn it. It was the perfect, it was the perfect thing. I, I, I went straight for it. Does my suit sound like Satan? A little bit. <laughs> Anytime I scan something, it's like, I require more specimens. Sacrifice them in my name. Huh? Don't forget that Transtar safety standards call for a weekly inspection of your uniform. Report hmm. to the hardware lab for a diagnostic. Any more mimics in here? I don't think so. Fine. Okay. Anything in here that I need? There's a door that opens to a whole shit ton of radiation. Great. What's that radiation at, by the way? It's at zero percent. Don't know how I fixed that up. Oh, maybe the med maybe a doc bot helped me out with that a little bit. What are you? Med kit. Cool. Psychotronic staff only. Oh, I don't know. I know where that is. Okay. Go check out the bathroom, I guess. Ooh. Something bad happened in the ladies' room. Don't see any mimics. Huh. Yeah, none at all, actually. Good. However, we do have a med kit. Handy. Um, anything in here? Crumble paper. That'll do. What the fuck? Greater mimic? Oh, it's that weird spike mimic. No. Oh, you hurt. You hurt a lot. You locked yourself in here with a greater mimic. Poor Martin. At least he got my shotgun shells back. Turn that off. Whatever. In here? Cool. Uh, Alright. That should be the first floor pretty much explored. Except for this, like, little lobby bit over here. Oh, cool, actually, it has a bunch of useful stuff in here. Like garbage. That I can turn into helpful items. I think that's it. Another cystoid nest. Whole bunch of cystoid nests. Jeez. Why?
That's for a scope earlier, because I can kind of just make one. With the psychoscope. Oh, cool, they're taking out each other, it looks like. Ah! Oh, what the fuck?! Do we just make cystoids? Great. Okay. Yeah. What's your weakness again? Oh, who cares? Uh. Eat some food. Eat this bad boy real quick. Got 12%. out when you get shot. What's up with that, Bardo? I got rid of its, like... I remember its, like, shield and it flipped out on me. Is that over there? Yeah, it is. Oh my gosh. Alright, so... The null wave works on it. You know that. Let's try that. Come here. No. -uh. Yeah, I got one. Now we know how to kill weavers. You know they can't be killed. Cool. Oh, Kelly. Why are you dead? Statuses. Whoops. Suit damage. Do I have a suit repair kit? I've got eight. Awesome. And that takes care of that. Ah! Oh no, there's a bunch of them. Hi, can you? Damn it. Fine. <laughs> Multiple objectives this way, and then Psychotronics Morgue that way. Mm. Alright. So, we need to find a key. So let's go down. Oh, I can only go to Lobby Life Support. Or right from here. That's right, Soccer Chonics is like this other weird good thing, huh? Let's take another uh, look at the um, the morgue, because I really gotta try and figure that out. It's actually super important. Also, I can open this up now. Oh, damn it. Oh, it hurts you. Try it again. Got it. Whew, that's tough. Alright, we got four neuro mods and I think it said four neuro mods and a weapon upgrade. That's that's pretty good. Go in here and I think I can fix you. Yeah, I've got plenty of spare parts. Fix you up real quick. Dump all that in there, including these extra weapons I found. Put all that back where I want it. Kinda of weird about that, I guess. Yay! Oh my god, I love it.
Okay. You know from experience, it's possible for things to respawn in this game. Areas tend to repopulate. Which isn't ideal, no, but we'll make it work. And we go. There we go. All right, that. Oh, sh shit. Scan complete. More specimens required. Thermal phantom. Okay. Yeah, that that's a problem. bunch of shit down here that's super dangerous. All right. What's a thermo, uh, thermo? Thermo phantom? Uh, let's do that so I increase my firearm damage to 120%. Oh, whoops, sorry. Wrong button. Thermal phantom! It is unclear at this time what prompts a weaver to invest additional resources in the creation of these more powerful phantoms. However, testing has revealed that these phantom specimens are much more durable and more dangerous than their weaker cousins. As the name implies, the phantom manipulates thermal radiation. Infrared analysis showed it was able to radiate lethal levels of infrared energy as a defensive measure when threatened. It is most dangerous ability, however, is the spontaneous eruption of superheated plasma from a distance. Range is uncertain due to the small scale of the enclosures. It's weak to psychic, immune to fire. Shit. Hmm. And it's not affected by the anti typhon gate. Can I hack you, please? Thank you. There we go. the Iron Curtain. Excerpt from a historical account of the civil unrest within the Soviet Union by Dr. Luke Manor Banda. Although the relationship between the USSR and the United States has warmed in the past few decades, there was little doubt that vestiges of the Iron Curtain still hung isolated between the two countries. Indeed, more than a century since its inception, Vladimir Lenin's communist vision still found itself alive and well within the oft-expanded boundaries of Mother Russia. 
But with each new Soviet annexation, the USSR began to find the public outcry no longer came from just the Americans, but from amongst its own citizens. The Mensheviks, as they came to be known, opposed the aggressive Soviet expansion doctrine. While at first only a minority, the Menshevik movement continued to grow rapidly. Events could or would ultimately culminate following the Soviet Indian intervention with the outbreak of civil un unrest led by the Mensheviks and the beginning of the Second Purge. Oh, sweet. Gun boys. All right. Take that. Eat something while I heal. Right hard drive, right hard drive. Thank you so much. Extra gun. Emergency thing. We're gonna set both of these up. better. Why can't I move backwards right there? Thank you. Scanning target no type of material detected. Gotcha. Oh, right, the cystoids. Uh, can I just... safe down there because there's only one oh no there's another nest right there cool I think we're good on that front now all right let's go oh more mimic coon corpses wait is that door open now no I hear something. Yeah, it's like continuously aware of my presence from way up there for some reason. What the hell are you? Scan complete. More specimens required. Where'd you go? Found you. Gotcha, you, you son of a bitch. Alright, let's read her out poltergeist. Fuck. <laughs> what power did you give me? Lift field. Alright. Interesting. Poltergeist. Poltergeists are not a normal part of the type in ecology. Instead, they appear to be a result of a rare mutation that occurs in less than 5% of phantom genesis cases. The poltergeist is also the only known type to possess the ability to render themselves invisible, undetectable even to psychoscope, uh, yeah, psychoscope scanning. The exact mechanism is unknown at this time as their, as their limited numbers make adequate study difficult. 
Please note that any enclosure used for Phantom Genesis studies must be subjugated to a full purge to avoid overlooked poltergeist assessments. Smart. Uh, Greater Mimic. A preliminary observation reveals that specimen 14 is moderately larger than any of the other mimic specimens collected from the Kletka incident. But a far more fascinating aspect is what appears to be its advanced mimicry ability. Specimen 14 has, on numerous occasions, demonstrated the capability of reproducing objects whose size and complexity far outstrip the abilities of any of the other specimens. What's more, many of these reproductions appear to be fully functioning. Interesting. So, like, it could mimic, like, a computer, maybe? That's a scare. <laughs> ah! Get out of here! Fuck! Get out! Fuck you! Stop mimicking my shit! Hello. <sighs> Don't scare me like that. Please. That's just the uh, operator making some. Oh shit. Where is it? I'm coming to get you. Shit. What? Alright. You know what? Fine. It would appear the mimic messed with my headset, so I couldn't even hear it. Brilliant creatures. Very smart. Killed it anyway. Fuck it. <laughs> Oh man. All Hello. Right. Hi, science operator. You creep me out sometimes, you know that? Scanning. Neural imaging shows your psychological Thanks. potential is at or near. Appreciate it, it, I guess. Oh! Hi. But, fuck! What the hell was behind it? What the fuck was that? That thing was huge! Tiresome. I have to go over here and rescan that fucking. There's the mimic that ran in here. I guess I missed it before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Very, very smart. Anti gravity ghost. I get it. Oh! 
poltergeist go? No, really, where to go? annoying. Quick save again. Yay. Quick saving. So fun. Let's go look down here, I guess. See if anything new is cropped up. No new mimics. This thing's still too heavy for me, or else I'd be able to... What? Get some glue canisters? Is that how I get to the morgue? There's a couple supplies in there. I don't see anything too crazy. Also, don't see a way to the morgue in there. Even though it's that way. <laughs> that up. Is there a way? You're the guy I found. Yeah, you're the guy I found the uh, psychoscope on. Huh. Doesn't look like a way to the morgue. Damn it. Okay, so, Electro Phantom. I think we dealt with those before. Wasn't easy. Let's quick save. Hello. Hi, how are you? You're creepy. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. A nightmare. That it is. Okay, I'm just gonna go down here now. I'm gonna read about you. Hmm. Voltaic Phantom. Uh, no entry found. Weakness EMP. All right, cool. We'll use that. Nightmare. Fuck. Uh, no entries found. I guess it's new. Time for response to an anomaly in their ecology. Something that's like them, but isn't. Me. Only purpose seems to be to hunt me down. Seems unstoppable. Oh, great. Hello. Uh. Oh shit, here we go. Got it. That was really close. Can you heal me at all? Oh, whatever. Okay. So then there's like a nightmare upstairs as well. Also, a bunch of phantoms, possibly. Get out of my way. What is up there that's already aware of me? Hello, Dr. Hughes. Stop! You're gonna give me away. That thing is huge. You know what? I should come at this area from a different direction. I should go back up to the Arboretum. Hello. And come in the area from a different angle. Hopefully then that fucking nightmare won't be there. Jeez! Like, I don't want to take that thing out with anything other than, like, 
a full like ammo like Q-beam, like a rocket launcher, you know? Hey man, can you stop shooting for just like a second? I could take this thing with me, but Typhons can, or like, Typhons. But like, Phantoms can take that thing out. I don't know what the hell it's gonna have against the what? Oh, I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna hack it, okay. Can't exit out of the hack mini game once I really there. I don't know what you're doing now that I've hacked you. There. I thought I killed you. Yeah, I thought I shot but oh. You know what? Probably, I probably died. Okay. We're just gonna go now. Oh shit. Vital signs. Yeah, I get it. Thank you. Please fire. Why isn't it firing? Oh, it's like fucking fucked up because the electrical pulse. Thank you. Jeez. Boy, that shit's annoying. All right, going back to the lobby. Still hurting. Right. Uh, need some more food. So, going in through Psychotronics, the front way, stupid dangerous. We might as well just try getting in there. Um. No, I did not mean to do that. Might just try getting in there through those ducks we took to get from there to the Arboretum. I think that might be a good idea. Better idea than just trying to go into the front. Boy, the area. That's a mess. Now, hold on. We read about the nightmare. Right? Immunities. Okay, it's only weakness is psychic. So in order to take it on, I have to start using Typhon uh, mods. <sighs> Shit. Okay, detour. Scott employee who's a member of the Black Mod. An operator in Psychotronics travels and on an hourly cleaning schedule, it route takes it through the morgue, opening the locked door in the process. How? Like, I waited in there for a while. That thing never went near that door. 
Maybe there's a different operator down there. Shit. Who knows? We'll try and get in there by going back through the way from the Arboretum. What? going crazy? I don't want to go crazy. Alex! Damn it. Hold on. I'm encrypting the rest of this. Okay. Dr. Cole already wiped the recording of Morgan's breakdown off his computer. Breakdown. The last copy is hidden in his office. I'm not going back. You'll have to get it yourself. A C B A C. Good luck. There's so much shit to do in this game. <laughs> We're going back. That's right. Another elevator ride. Probably gonna be scary again. Can't wait. Really excited. If you freak out at me again, fucking elevator, I swear. Anything mean looking down here anymore? Pretty sure I cleaned it up. I don't like as soon as I like I, I as soon as I open up like the thing where it's like yeah open it just forces me out there into what like was an ambush of a weaver and like a whole bunch of like cystoids like that was that was shitty that sucked no mix okay and the tower station's neat. I'm expecting more phantoms now that I've come back here. Good afternoon, Talos. In the event of a loss of atmosphere, gravity, or other serious emergency, please report to the nearest muster okay. station. I think we're okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Begin new test. I think I know how to solve this already. What was it? What did, what did he say? He said... Alex! Damn it. Hold on. I'm encrypting the rest of this. Okay. Dr. Cole already wiped the recording of Morgan's breakdown off his computer. Uh -huh. The last copy is hidden in his office. A. I'm not going back. You'll have to get it yourself. A C B A C. A -C Good luck. B A C. Okay, search safe. What's safe? That wasn't it. That isn't it either. Did I open a new safe somewhere? Oh, thi oh, that safe. Okay. Three neural mods and another transcribe. You seem frustrated. I have. Months that are just 
gone. I, I've been listening to the logs, reading the research, playing catch-up. Do you know how many times we've had this conversation? Diagnosing, bruising, this abrasion, is the fifth fatigue. Time. Nothing does it always go the same way. I'll have you feel better always. soon. Good what does that mean? Don't forget what to complete do you a patient questionnaire. Your well, I think it means you should be concerned as my counselor. You left yourself a message. Would you like to listen to it? No. I think it would help. I said no, that's not me. Why do you say that? I don't know. I, I, I just know. You agreed to this. This was all your idea. Yours and Alex's. I didn't agree to any of this, all right? That Morgan is not me. I would never... Do you know what's going on in Psychotronics? Do you? If I did, I couldn't say. You know that. What do you know about the Typhon? <laughs> we shouldn't talk about them. Not without your brother present. Them? You do know, you snake. How can you sit there? Morgan, take a deep breath. Here. I don't want a pill. I want this station shut down. I want Earth. Morgan. I said no! <sighs> okay. I'm going to call Alex. That is very interesting. Note. Note to Gustav Leitner. Uh, results. Patient test positive for non-small cell lung cancer. Patient did not list any ailments on the submission form prior to being taken to the skill recorder. Contact this patient immediately. If patient still on Talus 1, have him report to the trauma center as soon as possible. Oh, cool. I finished that. Awesome. White noise. Haven't I read this? Huh. No, this was... My cut out. That that one doctor. Oh god, what was her name? Mika Michaela? Michaela? Something like that. I think she went by Mika. Uh, more often called white noise due to the telltale spot said to be like static in the victim's eyes. White noise isn't just a medical condition. And it's more than the wild, almost witch doctor like claims of psychic ability. Doctor, Deo, Igwe, anyone? It's disenfranchisement. It says the victim can never have a neuromod, nor can their brain be mapped. It's the end of everything that is about a person. Who is Transtar to decide? Will we let them add a biological caste system to the human race? Huh. Regina Sellers. Can I hack? I can hack. No hacking. No hacking. Oh, I can make medkits now. Or er, again, I guess. Alright, that's interesting. So, I left a video for myself. What is that video, though? Alright. These side missions are actually really interesting. Um... Okay. Kinetic Blast. Mimic Matter. Backlash. Create a shield for 20 seconds which prevents the next enemy attack from damaging you. Energy needs to attack shield that repelled. Remote manipulation. Use your mind to retrieve distant objects and inter interact with the device up to 10 meters away. Hmm. I don't know. These are pretty cool. What's that? Fear resistance. So oh, I don't get I don't get fear or something. I guess. Force robotic enemies to end hostilities and fight for you for 30 seconds. That might come in handy. Position three for two. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll get that. Like something is keeping me. Poltergeist. Oh, I've scanned them twice. I guess weakness fire. Okay, I don't have any fire abilities. Weakness glue and Q beam. Okay. Something is keeping me, like, me, myself, like, there's, there's, like, something about using the mimic powers makes me feel bad. I don't know what it is. That's right, I want to go this way. What other side missions do we got? Content employee, go to deep storage. Who is December? 
Could Alex save the Arboretum? Black Botch Project. No idea where Dalton is. Corpse vanishes. Go to Psychotronics. Uh, whistleblower. Go to Crew Quarters. Where is Crew Quarters? Four Arboretum. I don't know where Crew Quarters is. Wait, what was that? Station map. Oh. Bay power plant. Airlock is locked to those areas. And then there's the guts, which I can use to get up to Arboretum. Or get from the Arboretum down to Psychotronics and Cargo Bay. Uh. Crew Quarters. Is it connected to the uh, is it connected to our brain, but it's blocked off for some reason, so is deep storage possibly. I need to open up the airlock to the arboretum as well. Talus one exterior. Oh that that all leads to Talus one exterior. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. To go to the arboretum. Man, this game thread. I love it. get attacked again. Okay. Back in garden place. Stuck inside a door for some reason. Don't know what that was about. I just want to see if I can break that. It's straight up a secret. Maybe. Not sure. Possible. Where am I? Wait. Are all the waterfalls and like water stuff here looking glass? That's pretty smart. Oh shit. How many phantoms are there? Etheric phantom. It is unclear at this time what prompts a weaver to invest this no uh, over testing as real. These phantom specimens are much more durable and more okay, so there's just a different, stronger kinds of phantoms. I'll particularly note was the etheric phantom, which pr produces a particular particulate cloud that is highly toxic and disruptive to normal matter. The phantom is capable of manipulating this particulate, particulate to create a duplicate of itself. Oh, It can make a stand. Weakness, Q-beam. Good thing I have so much ammo for the fucking Q-beam. Shit. 
that's the Miasma Phantom. Or that I was calling it a Miasma, I guess it's etheric. I need to make shotgun ammo right away, because there's something mean out here. Pallet. Carry leverage too. Alright, whatever. Yeah, I need to make some fucking Shotgun ammo quick. Hello. Oh, this is where that went. Oh, thank goodness. Requesting new operator. Transfer of pyramid, 490 medical class operator. Diagnosing, bruising, abrasions, fatigue. Nothing funny. Thank you. All done. Don't forget to complete a patient questionnaire. Your feedback will be invaluable. Yeah, sure thing. I'm gonna explore this little area in here a little bit more. Oh. Oh, I can see through it. That's neat. So that phantom has just been chilling in here for a while, huh? Can I open it? Above me. Should have gotten leverage earlier, huh? Damn it. All kinds of good things in there. I really need to get leverage. Leverage seems to be holding me back. It's. it's shit, I'm getting like Deus X vibes. It's like, oh, I need to be super strong so I can move all these, like, refrigerators. Two bottle. I'm guessing if I throw you, you explode. Alright. Scanning terminal. No alien material detected. I need to repair my suit. Okay, so deep storage is that way. Hello. Nice to see you. Oh, don't freak me out like that, dude. Come on. All right, there are the two robots that are in there. They're not friendly whatsoever, and there's possibly a phantom up here somewhere. What even are you? If I break you, you'll start shooting shit at me. Oh, I hate that. Do I know how to open you? I do not. And you're four hacking. Bridge. Uh, I don't go down there. Not yet. There's wow. This this game's really open, and I really like that. It's also confusing me. What do I? Oh, shit. I can dispense an operator if I hack this. Got it. Okay. It's another etheric phantom, which are weak to what again? Uh, QB, right. I don't have. Mod stuff, I'm guessing. Phantom shift. Rapidly change position up to six meters away. Leave behind a double that fools enemies for four seconds. Oh, it's kind of like Blink. Alright, cool. I might actually end up getting that. Please go away. Afternoon, Talos. Safety aboard Talos 1 is everyone's responsibility. Send all help requests or concerns to security at Transstar.tower. I think I got it. 
Could have gone better, but I got it. All right, cool. Go away, goo. All right, next. Fabricator, I see. Whatever it's called. I really need to... Oh, shit. Do I really not know the code to your office, Alex? You bastard. Can I climb? I cannot. Damn. This is the down. Really? Is that completely necessary? Okay. Protocol. Use plastic, whatever. I gotta make like three things. What is, where does this go? Deep storage. That's where I have to go for main story stuff, so we're not gonna go there yet. Uh, operator. You know what? Yeah, I'll build one here. That way I get my suit prepared if I need it. I have what? Six, six shells left. Transtar, Cobalt, Thank you. Alright, I'm now 100 everything. I Can I climb up to Alex's office? These trees kind of look climbable. Not climbable enough. Damn it. I can hop down if I need to, I guess, but I can't. Can't climb up. Coffee. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to bump, bump into you there, buddy. Storage. Mm. This well, is go. down to crew. Maybe course. I can help you. Why you all? Why do you guys always I get know, stuck? Sir. No trauma or illnesses detected. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do for you, unless okay. you're interested in medical trivia or a joke. No, no jokes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're trying to hurt me right now, aren't you? I can hack this. Okay. We're gonna give this a shot. Are you stuck Please up in there, man? Still. This will only take a moment. There. At least now oh, I know where you are, you but come on. At the front desk. Oh, and now I can make uh, sci hypos. Big Bang candy, sweet, thank you. What's this? Weapon upgrade kit, cool. And the West stood tall. Excerpt from the back cover synopsis of an alternate history novel by Lance B. Jenkins. In 1964, President Kennedy turned his back on American intro in interventionism. But what if America had stood up for all its allies in Vietnam? Would communism still reign in the East? Would the Iron Curtain have fallen? Renowned pol political commentator Lance B. Jenkins weaves a gripping alternate account of the days following the Gulf of Tonkin incident. What would have been if America had gone to war in 1964? Huh. So that's like... That's... I think, I'm pretty sure that's a parody of an actual book that was... published at one point. Um... I'm pretty sure, like, yeah, like, that. that's like, oh, what if the real, if, what if reality were the actual reality, you know what I mean? Operate them. Alex, you're still here. Somewhere. Olivier Benoit. Or Oliver Benoit. But with a name like that, I'm thinking it's Olivier. Oliver Benoit, whatever. He's in a crew quarters. He might be able to give me the code to Alex's thing, area map. Yes, I'll take that. Thank you very much. Security door. I'm guessing that's this door here. Yeah, I think so. Another storage room that I can't get into yet. Damn. Did I get everything in here? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Um. All right, this goes down to crew quarters. Cool. Okay. 
shotgun, which means we're probably gonna see. Oh, now I can make more shotgun shells, I guess. Probably gonna see more enemies in this area. Just a guess. Give me a lot of nine mil bullets too. All right. So, oh, what? A key card? Damn it. All right. I am gonna end it here for now. But let's be a quick break, and then we'll be right back to this. So, gonna save. And then I'll see you guys next time. Y'all have a good day.